minutes. Hopefully they don't uh, score from this. Ah, oh, they've scored. What's going on? Welcome back to another match day experience. So we take on Arsenal at St James's Park, a three o'clock kickoff. Another tough game in the Premier League, and it's a game that I'm really looking forward to because we've done well against Arsenal last season at home. You know, we beat them by two goals to one, and this is a game where I believe if we don't play five at the back, we could potentially get a result. It's all about the formation today. I'm just hoping that Rafa Benitez. I know he's a defensive coach, but goes for the game, goes for the Arsenal team, who still look weak at the back. They're decent going forward, but you got to look at the last two results. I mean, you look at the Cardiff game when they won by three goals to two, they were very lucky to get something uh, in that game. And you look at Cardiff, they were playing on the wings and they were trying to get the ball into the box and that's where they got a lot of joy. So I think today it's important that we're getting their faces and we're trying to create opportunities. You've got to remember that we are the home team as well. And we don't really want to be sitting back because now's not the time to be dropping more points. You look at the fixtures that we've had and you think today, out of all the tough teams that we've had, Arsenal's probably the easiest. Now, I don't want to underestimate them. I just think they're the easiest of the top six. They're the most vulnerable team in the top six. Now, they're still going to be learning under Unai Emery. But I just think today, we've got to be picking up points because if we don't, then potentially we could be bottom of the league depending on what Burnley do and West Ham do over the course of the weekend so it's important that we get something today because if we don't then we're just playing catch up but today it's all about staying positive John Joe Shelby's back, Richie's back so there's no excuse to why we can't attack them you know we have been unlucky in the previous games but they have passed now but anyway it's nice to be back uh, let's get us in James's Park and let's hope for a positive result I'm going to go for in my prediction 1-1. One, one. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the match day experience. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're on the verge of 1,500 subscribers, so if you could do that, that'd be massively appreciated. Anyway, let's go and hot with the lads. Right, so on my way to the match, I've just got the programme there against Arsenal. It's Fernandez. Look at that cover. Look who it is, Ruben Stein as well. How's it going, How's mate? Going? Yeah, good man. <laughs> hey, are you looking forward to the game? Oh, looking forward to it, but I'm a bit nervous, not going to lie. Um, it's obviously Arsenal today, probably the, the weakest of the top six. It's going to be a tough game. Um, we don't want to underestimate them too much. Yeah. I know that we need points today and we need to try and get something at home because Arsenal, you know, will be confident after the last two results. You know, they beat Cardiff 3-2. Yeah. OK, you could say that they were lucky to get something, but... Do you think Rafa Benitez will stick with the five at the back or do you think he'll attack Arsenal? Do you think he'll um, give it 20 minutes? I want to... Oh, I don't know, like, because five at the back against Chelsea was pretty hopeless, but I think we did quite well against Man City, so I'm not massively against it if it can work in our favour. But, I don't know, four at the back, get some attack and play in, because Arsenal are a bit vulnerable to start this season off, so, yeah, I'll have to see what he goes with. And what do you think your score prediction is going to be today for the Arsenal 1-1. 1-1. Goal scorers? Rondon goal. Don't know about Arsenal. <laughs> and also subscribe to Rubenstein. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Cheers. What's going on? So I'm joined by HITC Sport. Massive game today in Newcastle it's against a, Arsenal. He's a massive one. Uh, thank Christ he's not going five at the back, all right? Uh, I mean, we come up four at the back in April, so I'm, I'm not going to say it's going to be another win because that's, uh, that's way too optimistic. They came out of there with a draw. That's a very good result. I think we need a point because I think if we don't get anything today and Burnley gets them tomorrow and Everton get, get a... So if they get me off West Ham, we're going to be a bottom. You're thinking about the relegation battle in mid-September, would you can yourself? Turn the fuck down there, right? If this was April or March, maybe you could start worrying about that. But it's early days. You can play the big teams first. I mean... Get them out of the way, yeah. You couldn't, have, you couldn't have asked for a harder start. Spurs, Chelsea, City and Arsenal, come on, like joined by Bing, so it's Arsenal today at St James' Park. Another yeah. tough game. Uh, what's your thoughts going into this one? A tough game. We've had out of our first five games for the top teams. Um, a bit more confident than the other game than we'll for 1-1 today. Josh, what about yourself? Big game today against Arsenal. Probably the weakest of the top six, Arsenal. Uh, your thoughts going into this one? 
think we'll lose 2 1. This is the past games we haven't won. 2 1? They were totally going to say that. The past games we just haven't done that well. We've only got one point, and I don't think we'll win this one. It's getting another tough team. I think we'll lose 2 1. And do you think, oh well, who do you think will score for Newcastle? In your previous um, videos? Probably. Uh, Chill, he's like, start, is he? he's on the bench. He might come on second off. Yeah, I'll go here. Right, so I'm outside St James's Park. Uh, there's about to be a protest about half past two, uh, and the team led are out for Newcastle United. So it's very interesting. So up front, you've got Hoslu. In the number 10, you've got Perez. In the middle, you've got Jacob Murphy. Dior Mayhead in the middle. Richie. Then at the back, you've got Paul Dummett. Uh, Fernandez, Lasalle, Yedlin, and Debravka. So that's a very interesting team. Um, I didn't think Caden would start today, but Shelby's on the bench. Um, I thought he would at least start it. Rondon's on the bench, very interesting. But I'm glad that Rafa Benitez isn't playing five at the back, he's playing four, which is decent because we can't afford to sit back you know, at home. We've just got to take the game to Arsenal and let's just wait and see what happens. Uh, like I say, there will be a big protest at half past two. I'll try and get as much footage as possible. Anyway, let's have a look at this air protest. Outside the protest, it's yeah, not yeah. successful. Yeah. Um, what do you think the score's gonna be today? Massive game. Oh, mate, when I said I said 2 2, when I was playing to I said 2 2. I've just seen that line of Jacob Murphy, Hossie, no Shelby, right. no Kennedy. I'm going 2 1 Austin. I'm going to be the best thing I just kind of see where I kind of see we're doing enough. I think it's gonna to be tough as it is. I mean, Arsenal are probably the weakest of the top six. We can't underestimate them. Mm. But I think if we're start at the front foot, you never know, try and get the early goal, but yeah, it's gonna be a blue. Hey, we've, we've got to get in their faces, but it looks like Rafa's doing defensive again, we're like you know, it's huge in the middle now. So what is your score prediction again? Two one Arsenal. Two one and who's scoring for Arsenal? Newcastle, come on. Very young that was it, and then uh, uh Richie for us. Hey, where can they find you? Eh? Where can they find you on YouTube? And I play channel. So subscribe, I'll leave a link down below in the description.
Go on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Go on. Get up. Yes. Oh. Oh. The corner. Come on. Go on. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in the box. Get it in. Great. Come on. Hit it. Oh. So close. Ten minutes gone. Nil. Nil. We're going to the corner. Out here. Ten minutes. Still nil. Nil. Matt Rich is going to take it. Go on. Get in it. Go on. Come on, lads! Yes! Oh, way by Arsenal. Come on, Matt Richard, lads. Come on. Let's make a count. 20 minutes gone. It's still nil nil. Newcastle! 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 Come on! Go on, attack it! Ooh! Hit, hit it! Shoot! Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh, so close! Come on, work it in. Go on, Jomi. Oh, way by Arsenal. Coming up there, we've got Kennedy. Keeman Clock. And the one and only John Joe Shelby. Hopefully, we'll get to see him on second half because uh, Arsenal are quite a minute. Let's see, we've got a counter attack. Got a chance. Go on. Oh, it's clear by Arsenal. Come on now, tell me. Go on, get it. Yes. Oh, so close to the corner. Oh, in, lads. Come on. Played about 31 minutes. Richie's gone to the corner for Newcastle. Oh, in. Oh, in, lad. Go on, somebody attack it. Oh, it's away by Arsenal. We've got a free kick. All right, you get it in. Float it in. Go on, get in it. Finish it. Oh! Come on! Four subs. We've got Rondon. We've got Mutu. And Javier Mankio as well. Right, so it's half time, it's nil nil. I think we've been by far the better team. Uh, we're just having made the most of our chances. Also, don't look threatening at all whatsoever. They're very vulnerable in the back. Petr Cech's made a couple of uh, bad mistakes. Uh, we have tested them a few times from a few corners. We just need to make a count. If we bring on Shelby in the second half, bring on Roy Dunn. I believe if we show the same tempo second half, we can definitely get the goal. You know, to try and win this game. Also, do not look the same team. Uh, you know, even from last season, they're just really, really poor. Um, they haven't really improved at all. You'd think they'd be out for a minute one because we are, you know, we haven't got the first win yet. But I'm sure if we can keep the same tempo, yeah, we will get the win. It's just all about staying consistent second half and just keeping on uh, how we played first half. So anyway, back up in the second half. Anyway, Arsenal got a free kick. Uh, played about 48 minutes. Hopefully they don't uh, score from this. Ah, oh, they've scored. Just like that, Arsenal have wandered up. Uh, 48 minutes gone. That's the first attack of the game. First real attack, set piece. We didn't have to go like the way we did. We scored. We've got to undo him. We had all the chances in the first half, I said. I hope it doesn't come back by where the back's end it has. So, got it all to do now. So, it's Newcastle, Arsenal won. Oh, we're allowed to step it up. Right, 57 minutes gone and we're 2 0 down. You know, from the first half on, we dominated and we should take more chances. Arsenal have done exactly what we should have done and it's scored twice in the space of 10 minutes. It's been shocking by us at the minute. We kind of get out one half. We've already attacked. It's been all Arsenal. It's been coming, like I said, it's a lot of the ball and we've given them too much respect and I think it's game over, if I'm honest. 2 0 Arsenal. I don't think there's any way of coming back. We've shot myself in the foot big time and we're going to have to move on to the next one. But at the minute, we'll, we'll look as if we don't have a clue in the second half. Yeah, that's Ozil. Right, Jacob Murphy's coming off. 
Well done, Jacob. And Kennedy's coming on. We've got to do something. Come on, Kennedy, lad. Anyway, Arsenal have got a corner. We've played about 75 minutes, a non existent second half. Let's hope that they don't score. Let's hope we can actually defend for a change. Shaka's going to take it for Arsenal. When the referee can actually be bothered. Oh, finally, we've actually cleared the ball. Yes, come on, 2 1. We've left the league of three minutes to stop this time. we scored, finally. I don't think we're going to win this game or get anything from it, but we've got a goal. That's all that matters. Probably deserve it for the first half performance. Second half is terrible, but we've got a goal. Left it late, but hey, there we go. Team O'Clock scored. Wow. Right, so I'm approaching home from the match. It finished in the end. Newcastle 1, Arsenal 2. I said in the first half, at half time, you know, we were on top. We dominated, we should have took my chances, we made pet check work, but we just didn't put the ball in the back of the net. And I said that, you know, in the second half, it's going to come back to bite work if we don't take opportunities earlier on. We didn't do that in Arsenal. We were on the front foot from the 45th minute onwards, and we just didn't really get started. And Arsenal, with their quality, made the most of their opportunities, and that's what we did. We actually didn't do anything to actually want to attack Arsenal. But at the end of the day, we got what we deserved. I mean, the free kick that they scored was good, but that should have been prevented. And, you know, we've only got ourselves to blame, you know, for the set piece and the way it went and went in. And then we didn't really heed the warning after 1-0, you know, going behind and Arsenal got the second. And then you think after 40, 50 minutes, you think, right, that's it. It's game over. And it was really after 60 minutes, we didn't do anything. We made some substitutions, but they were just far too late, in my opinion. Arsenal, you know, were never going to be a rollover as long as it was still nil-nil and they were soaking up the pressure. We were always sort of going to like try and get into the game, but we just don't have the quality. We don't really have the quality in the final third, and it just cost a big time today. I mean, just Jamal Asal, you know, pulled up in the warm up, so I do wish them all the very best we could have done with them today. Uh, we did score a late goal uh, with Keeman Clark in the 90th minute, but it was just too late, in my opinion. And yeah, uh, it's a really disappointing second half, which is cost for ultimately. Arsenal got a good team. Fair play to them, you know, they came out and wanted the game more in the second half and you don't win a game on the first half, you win it on the second half and Arsenal, you know, by far the better team. The quality was there on show for them and fair play to them, they're going to be going down to London happy, fair play. Um, but yeah, just wasn't a beat today, unfortunately. I was at the protest and it went successful in my opinion. We need to do more of it, we need to try and get Mike Ashley out of this club because the lack of investment is shown big time and until we do anything about it, while he's still here, we could try and force him out, but there's only so much he can do. Um, he's not bothered, like I say, he's earning the money. So, But, like I say, second half, it was a little bit too much where we just couldn't keep the same tempo as the first half. And like I say, they've got too much quality, which showed at the end. So at the end of the day, we'll move on to the next game, which is Crystal Palace away. I think they got a good result, which I've seen at half-time. They might have won, drawn or lost, I'm not too sure. But it's all about Newcastle. We'll go down there, hopefully try and get three points, but hey... At the end of the day, hopefully now this is the end of the, all the tough games that we've got. One point from five games, it obviously is disappointing, but if you look at all the fixtures that we've had, it was never going to be easy to get you know, maximum points. So, yeah, like I say, if you did enjoy, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, 100% NUFC. I'm trying to get 1,500 subscribers. I am very, very close. Also, hit that thumbs up. The more you hit the thumbs up, the better it is for me and the content going forward. Anyway, it's been Sharky. Also, don't forget to subscribe on Instagram and Twitter as well at 100% NUFC and I'll drop you a follow on there.